I can't lie, I'm exhausted. Absolutely exhausted uh, for no reason because I really didn't do much today. I'm going on vacation next week to Scotland to visit my sibling for a whole week. And I'm so excited to go and vlog everything and record that trip. But before I go, I need to get my life together here in America. Um, so you're going to follow me around this week while I get my life together, organize things so that I can go away and not worry about anything. Um, the first thing that was on that list that I needed to get done was to get blood work. I did not record that because nobody wants to see that, but I did get blood work right here this morning. <laughs> Um, the next few things I have on my list are I need to get my hair cut so incredibly bad I'm going tomorrow because it's just like at the length where I look like I have like a coconut haircut like you know a coconut head from Ned's Declassified that's what I look like um so we're gonna get a lot off like it's going to like here so that's tomorrow I have a massage Thursday because I deserve it and then Friday I have therapy but besides for like events and like things that I have to go to. I just want to organize everything. Like I want to organize my room, organize my life, get my reading schedule together. And I also have like some furniture coming in for my room that I want to set up. So um, I will check back in when there's something to update. I'm going to work for a little bit. And yeah, then we will check back in. I'll show you guys how I'm getting my life together. If you can tell, I got a couple inches off and it feels like so much better already. Um, yeah, I wanted to give a little book update reading wise. So I finished A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab two nights ago. So good. Five stars. I start it. Um, what is the second book called? Why can't I remember? Um, okay, so I'm reading A Gathering of Shadows, which is the second one in the series, and I really like it so far. A little bit on the slower side, but I kind of enjoy it. Like, it just feels like we're slowly jumping back into the action, so I'm liking it. Um, that's, like, it for tonight. I'm just gonna read tonight, um, and then tomorrow. Kind of want to do a lash lift and tint. I've never done that before, but I'm curious what it would look like, so I might schedule that tomorrow. We'll see. have not read these books so don't listen i'll put like a little mark um but i'm so excited for lila and kel's paths to cross again because i love the dynamic of them together so i'm just excited like it's interesting hearing about like their separate adventures going on right now because like the lila being on that ship 
and then Kel dealing with like the new king in the Grey London is very interesting but I'm excited for them to cross paths and for the element games to happen so that's exciting. I'm trying to get to 50% by the end of the day so that is my reading update. I have a massage in like two hours but besides for that it's pretty much it for today. I took a semi little break from vlogging for the past like I don't know day just because I haven't really done much. Um, but right now I'm getting ready to go get a lash lift and a tint. I'm so excited because my lashes are like kind of long, but they're straight. They just go straight forward. So I'm so excited to get them lifted. So I'm going to go do that. I have a couple loads of laundry I've been running today just to make sure I have all of my clothing ready to bring with me. Last night I ordered those little packing cubes and I got them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So they come in tomorrow. So I will vlog like my packing to let you know how those are. So let's go get my lashes done. Are we being so for real? I need to zoom in. Be so for real right now. These are my real lashes. Oh my God. I needed to do an update the next morning because they still look so Like, they didn't move at all. Right now I'm gonna go get some last minute shopping done and I'll take you with me. So, I had a little bit of a shopping spree. Here's what I got. I don't have like any cute socks. So I got these both, like this like creamish one and these white ones. Just felt like they were staple. I got these little bow barrettes. I think they're so cute and I have these little pieces in the front so I feel like they look so cute. This headband, just a plain headband. Um, I also got this headband. I don't know how I feel about this one yet but I got this like pearl necklace and it has like that little flower design. These are just like little bracelets. I got this coin purse. Then for the clothes, I got this cargo skirt. Um, I feel like this is cute for fall. I don't know, fun, cute, liked it a lot. Pretty long and it has this like slit in the back. I also got this cream skirt that ties. It looks like kind of light, like summery. It's like a linen material, but it's thick. So I feel like it would look good with like a sweater and boots or something. I don't know. Got this like boat neck shirt. I don't know, just like a little staple. This is a squirt, and I don't know if I love it. It's because it's pretty short, but I feel like it would look, and it's shorts, so like, but I feel like it would look cute with like tights and boots and a sweater, I don't know. That's everything, thanks for watching. Okay, I'm gonna walk you guys through this whole process because it kind of makes no sense, but we are going to start packing. The first thing I'm doing is just gathering all of the clothes I know I want to pack and putting it directly in the suitcase. So I did a bunch of laundry, so I pretty much have everything set. I'm just preparing everything so that when the packing cubes come, I'm ready to just kind of organize and put them all together and I will be done. So here I am just going through everything that I do want to pack. I ended up taking some stuff out, but this is just kind of the broad idea of what I want to bring with me. Okay, these are the packing tubes. It's kind of giving sheen vibes. Like it says, wish you have a colorful life. And the U is like literally the letter U. And like, what does that even mean? Wish you have a colorful life. And it's not even a lot of colors, whatever. That's not really important. Let's open it up and see what it comes with. Here's this little bag. This would be like a good toiletry bag. All right, we are jumping into the actual packing. I have YouTube on in the background as motivation and we are going to get started. So I'm beginning by just rolling all of my shirts. Um, I originally was folding them and stacking them and I couldn't fit nearly as much as I can by rolling them. So pretty much any undershirts, any t-shirts, any nice shirts that aren't sweaters are going to go in this cubby. And as you can see, it kind of fits a lot. I have like somewhere around 10 shirts in here probably and it zips up pretty well. The next cubby I decided to use for like loungewear and stuff I'm going to be wearing like around the house, not out because 
it just fit nice so i put like pajamas clothes like that in here as you can see like it really brings down the size like if i just packed those sweatpants and those sweatshirts in the suitcase it would have taken up so much more room so i really really do think that they are worth the investment and they were only ten dollars so like it's very much worth it now i'm gonna go in and start on my accessories so i'm using that little toiletry bag that they gave i'm putting headbands in there hair ties barrettes clips anything like that i put my nail polish that i use in there and then i'm also bringing this little jewelry box so i keep all of my rings in here my bracelets i only wear like one or two necklaces so i'll probably wear them but it has that little um thing that you can pull on where the mirror is and you can keep your bracelets hung up there i got this off of amazon it was like under ten dollars so if you're interested it is super worth it next i'm going in with one of the other smaller cubbies and i'm just putting like socks and stuff like that in here i'm organizing like bras and underwear in another one of them nothing crazy just kind of to keep them all together because i always end up fishing for okay, socks guys, we have suitcase packed i feel like i'm definitely over 50 pounds but i ordered one of those those scales for my bag to tell me if it's under 50 pounds that's pretty much it for my prepping so this week we did some errands got more clothes got a haircut did my lashes my room is clean my laundry is done and i am pretty much ready to go away reading wise i am like 75 percent of the way through the second book in the shades of magic series by v.e schwab loving it it's just been a really hectic weekend and we all right i'm gonna call a video here and the next time i see you guys will be for my trip in scotland and i cannot wait cannot wait to bring you along with me and vlog the experience and the trip so have a fantastic week and i will see you next week